Welcome to Snapcom's, your internal communications solution. In this video, you'll learn how to manage your users, the people who receive your messages. Each user has a copy of the Snapcom's app installed on their computer. This app, previously known as the Snapcom's client program, runs in the background, watching for any new content on your private server or on the Snapcom server in the cloud, so it can show the user your latest messages. Simply put, any computer with a copy of the Snapcom's app and access to your server will appear in the Content Manager as a user. To manage your users, just log into the Content Manager, open the Users and Groups section, and click on Users. You'll see a list of all of your active users. Please note, if you don't see the Users and Groups section, you may not have access to these features. Please contact the person in your organization responsible for Snapcoms and ask them to update your administrator permissions. There's no need to manually add new users to your list. Instead, simply install the Snapcoms app on their PC. The app will connect with your server, continuously checking in for new content to display your new messages. Depending on your settings, users can also click on the app to access their message history and change their personal settings. And the app will also automatically update your records. So, the next time you visit the Content Manager, the new user will appear on your list. You'll see their username on your network, their domain name, their full name, the last machine they logged in from, and the last time their copy of the app checked for new content. And if you open the View dropdown at the top and select Advanced, you'll also see what platform and operating system they're running and which version of the Snapcoms app they use. For a closer look at an individual user, just click on their name. Here, you can choose whether to make this user inactive so they'll no longer receive messages or make them active again. You can also fill in their email address and the phone number where they receive SMS text messages or set up a username and password so they can access their messages from a Mac or from their mobile. And you can also see which computers they use and which user groups they belong to. Remember, when you create a new message, you can go to the Target Users tab for a list of all of your active users and decide who should receive this message. Or you can pick a group to send your message to everyone who belongs to it. Please see our tutorial on user groups for help. And you can also go to the Delivery Options tab and decide whether to deliver your message using the Snapcoms app on each user's PC or whether to send each user an SMS text message instead. Let's go back to the Users page. In this example, we only have a handful of users, but in your organization, you might have dozens, even hundreds of users. So, here are three easy ways to find the person you want. First, you can click on any column heading to instantly sort your list. For instance, alphabetically by name. Second, you can search your list. For instance, by username or by full name and instantly find matching users. And third, you can filter your list. In fact, the list is filtered by default to only show active users. You can click the icon on the left to clear that filter and see all of your users, including any inactive users. Or click on Active and choose Unchecked if you only want to see those inactive users. Let's clear that filter just like before, but this time I'll filter by last connection instead. I'll choose today's date, and these are the users who have checked for new content today. Once you've sorted and filtered your list, you can click the Save button and give this view a name. Next time you log in, just open the dropdown and pick your saved view to apply those same filters again. You can also click the Manage button to review all of your saved views, and then edit a view and change its name, or delete it entirely. You can even export your filtered list as a PDF, or in any of these other formats. Or, if you've applied any additional filters, you can just click Reset to go back to the view you selected. One more thing. Removing a user when they leave your organization is easy. Simply close their account on your local network. If they can't log into their PC to run the Snapcoms app 
and they can't access your server, then they won't receive any messages. They will, however, continue to appear as an active user, even though they can no longer receive your messages. If you'd like to hide their name, you can select the appropriate user and click Make Inactive at the bottom. You can even select several users and make them all inactive, or delete them entirely. And of course, if you ever decide to bring them back, you can just reopen their account on your network. Once they can access the Snapcoms app on their PC and the messages on your server, they'll start receiving your messages again, and they'll reappear on your list as an active user. Thanks for watching. To learn more, please watch our video tutorials on user groups and on managing administrators, or just visit our website at www.snapcoms.com. Snapcoms, get employee attention.